Hey folks, welcome to Woody's World of Wonder. Time for another review. What have I been watching? I watched the guest on Amazon and uh, here's the giveaway. It's really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Starring Dan Stevens, funny enough, the mix of Downton Abbey with a really surprising performance. First class. Uh, he stars as David Collins, an ex-soldier who arrives at the house of a family still grieving the loss of their own eldest son, Caleb, while he was serving in the army. David goes on to explain that he was actually with Caleb when he passed away, and Caleb had asked him to pass on that he loved each member of his family and was thinking of them when he actually did pass away. Now, things are a little awkward at first, but the mother invites him to stay, there's a little bit of tension with the father straight away, but he soon finds a drinking buddy in David and starts opening up to him with the late night drinking sessions. And they're all pretty charmed by David, to be fair. Younger brother Luke's Brendan the Kid Myers, who you may know from the Schmodown. I love it. And uh, early rock vehicle, uh, the Tooth Fairy. He's suffering bullying at school. He hasn't really got any friends and... The local jocks are just picking on him, something rotten. He's coming home regularly, bruised and beaten. And David picks up on this and helps the kid toughen up, really, and deal with the bullying. Maybe in a slightly extreme style, but deal with it, he does. Uh, older sister Anna, Michael Munro, is initially wary of David. A little bit untrusting, just feels a little bit off about the guy. But after the parents insist that uh, she invites him along to a party with her friends... Things turn around for them as they start talking about her relationship and the problems there and he starts complimenting her musical taste and she decides to do him a mix CD winner. Um, but is this helpful guest all that he seems? There are a few, not long after he's been there, things start turning up. Uh, bodies, accidents, suicides, murders... And Anna's suspicions are raised and she starts delving into the background of this uh, David character really when her boyfriend is set up for the murder of one of her friends. This leads to the arrival of Carver, a very dodgy government type plays, uh, played by Lance Reddick, the, con the concierge in John Wick. Fantastic. Does what he says on the tin every time, delivers a performance that you would expect from him. There are shades of Colonel Troutman about it, the the officer above him sort of thing, but not as deep, not as deep at all, just just shades of it there. Uh, he brings along a group of government soldiers, and this leads to a rapidly escalating finale. It turns out that David's an experimented on soldier. The government had been doing some dodgy, dodgy things with him. Shades of the born identity about it, shades of the hitcher about it, um, touches of John Carpenter, uh, Terminator even. It's, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. More horror than you expected about it, definitely. It kind of feels like those 80s sort of Friday the 13th almost sort of style horror things going on with it. It's just really, really cool. I was very into this. I really, really enjoyed it. The soundtrack is extremely cool. It's very electronic a style. It's, it's kind of like Harold Faltermeyer to mix with me to Depeche Mode. Or if John Carpenter did the Commando soundtrack, that's pretty much what this would sound like as well. As I say, first rate performances really from all the actors in it. I was very impressed by everyone, but especially Dan Stevens. I, I haven't really watched much Dan Stevens stuff before now and this makes me want to want to watch more of it. I mean, I really am surprised, though, that Marvel never got him to do Iron Fist. But I suppose he went on to do Legion instead, which is supposed to be amazing. I've got to check that out now. The relationship between him and Brendan the Kid Myers it, it works really, really well. I know it's Micah Munro that I'm supposed to be more impressed by in there, but it's the relationship. It's Brendan Myers and uh, Dan Stevens that really really buzzed me in there. I thought they were excellent. As I say, it's surprisingly horror and it works really well. It's a blend of genres. It's action, it's drama, it's horror. I give it a full thumbs up and recommend it to anybody at the moment. Woody's World of Wonder out.